Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to load a movie that you took um, using your phone, for example, or some other camera, and how to um, collect data from it using the tracker software. So here I'm using Windows, um, but it will be quite similar if you're using a Mac or Linux. So what I did was I took a video um, using, in this case it was from my, using an iPhone, and I just emailed it to myself downloaded it, and I put it in the tracker folder. So here you can see that I have uh, in the documents, um, there's a folder called tracker, and I just put my video file in there. This is going to be a dorky picture of um, myself, uh, Dr. Ryan Smith, one of the professors in the physics department, uh, walking back and forth. And so you'll see how we can do this. Uh, so, you've, so once you've loaded your video into the tracker folder software, Now that you have the tracker software open, you're going to go ahead and open the um, movie file. And what we're going to do here is, well, first let's just see the video. So in this video, it's being played in a little bit of slow motion. You can see here on the bottom left, it's frame by frame showing you which frame number we're on. So clearly there's a lot of frames just to make one video. So you can see that I'm walking one way, I'm walking the other way, and finally I'm walking off the screen. So you probably know how to describe this with words, but we're going to try to use uh, the language of physics to be able to describe motion that's like this. So the way that we'll do this is um, the typical uh, strategy that we have is to first create a uh, an axis so we can place it anywhere we want actually I'll place it all the way here at the bottom left and we did that by this tool up here the second is to create a calibration stick and the way that we do that is you can see how it says shift click to mark so I'm holding the shift button and I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna click down here and it turns out that I already had measured ahead of time that the length from here to here is 47 inches or 1.19 meters okay so technically for this video we don't really need to have uh, the length to be calibrated but I think it's good to get into the habit of of doing this now we're going to create a point mass so we go to create a point mass and it sends us back to the beginning of the video now I'm going to drag us to where I actually show up on the screen because we don't really care about the data until that point and I'm going to pick a point on me. I'm just going to pick somewhere on my torso here. And the way that we can select our data is by holding that shift button. You see that the cursor changes from being just a regular mouse to being um, sort of a crosshair. And so each frame, I'm going to click on my torso somewhere in the middle there. And OK, maybe it's not going to be perfect. Maybe yours won't be either. But I think that as you click, you can look here on the right hand side and see the data that you're actually generating and see that it actually is making a graph of the motion that's happening um, frame by frame on the screen here. So I'm making a lot of clicks, but hopefully you're beginning to see that the graph that's generated is actually um, representing the actual motion that we're witnessing here. So finally, here's me walking to the left. And finally walking off the screen here. Now maybe I'll stop right here. Okay, very good. So this is our data really here. And if we want, you can, you can sort of drag this to the side and make it bigger so you can actually really see what's happening here. We can take a look at our data. And um, some things that we will be looking at in the future is you've noticed how when you hover over this X here, meaning the X axis, the left and right here, um, we can actually change that. Now there's an overwhelming amount of options here, but we can also change it to the velocity X component. And you can see here, that it looks like it was stationary for some time. Uh, sorry, it was stationary here where the velocity was zero. 
But other than that, we either had a negative velocity or we had a positive velocity. And so those are some of the things that um, we will be uh, um, taking a look at um, in some of our, our future explorations using the tracker software.